no, no, little kitty. Don't touch those bottles. You'll mess up their order. Why, it's just red blood, isn't it? Oh, kitty, not all blood is the same. It might look alike, but each type is special in its own way. Mixing them could cause serious trouble during a transfusion. Really? Yes, indeed. Let me explain what happens if someone is injected with the wrong blood type. Zoom in! Imagine someone you know is in the hospital after an accident and the doctor says they need a blood transfusion. A bag of red liquid is hooked up to their arm and suddenly, instead of feeling better, their body goes into chaos, their veins ache, their heart races and their kidneys start to fail. What went wrong? It turns out they were given the wrong blood type. It sounds like something out of a horror movie, but it's a real medical emergency that happens when the body's immune system mistakes donated blood for an invader. To understand why this happens, we need to know that not all blood is the same. In the early 1900s, an Austrian scientist named Karl Landsteiner discovered that human blood comes in different types A, B, AB and O. Each type is defined by specific molecules called antigens on the surface of red blood cells. Think of these antigens as tiny ID cards that tell your immune system, hey, I belong here. If a new blood type enters your body and its ID doesn't match, your immune system immediately sounds the alarm. That alarm triggers an army of antibodies, special proteins that seek out and destroy anything they think doesn't belong. When incompatible blood enters your bloodstream, these antibodies attach themselves to the foreign red blood cells like microscopic Velcro. This causes the blood cells to clump together or agglutinate. These clumps can block blood vessels and stop oxygen from reaching vital organs. Even worse, as the clumped cells break apart, they release hemoglobin into your bloodstream which can clog your kidneys and cause them to shut down. That's why receiving the wrong blood type can be deadly within minutes if untreated. Thankfully, unlike in the past, today's transfusions are extremely safe because of careful blood typing and cross-matching tests. Before any blood is given, Doctors mix a tiny sample of the donor's blood with the patient's to see if clumping occurs. If it does, they know it's a mismatch. Modern hospitals also store blood in carefully labeled banks and machines double-check every detail before a transfusion begins. Still, if despite all precautions, someone does receive incompatible blood, doctors can act quickly. They'll stop the transfusion immediately and give fluids and medications to flush out the destroyed cells, protect the kidneys and control shock. With fast treatment, most people can recover. Isn't it amazing? that a few microscopic differences in our blood cells can mean the difference between life and danger? In the end, our blood's unique chemistry isn't just what keeps us alive, it's what keeps us, quite literally, one of a kind. Trivia time! Did you know that in the 1600s, a French doctor named Jean-Baptiste Denis transfused sheep's blood into a man, hoping to calm his mental condition? Yes, but the patient's body reacted violently. He developed fevers, back pain and dark urine, 
all signs of a massive immune reaction. To know more about the types of blood, check out our video on the same. It's sketching time! Today's sketch of the day goes to Zunera Fatima. Hope you learned something crucial today. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. Little kitty, what are you doing? Just adding a little ketchup. Uh oh, oh, right, of course. Um, never mind.